Hey y'all, hola mi gente. It's Kayla, your favorite Georgia Rican. And guess what I'm making today? Can you see it? Banana pudding, okay? There's so many ways to make banana pudding. You have a really southern traditional way of like baking it and making a meringue on top and it's warm. Then people like to eat it warm or people like to eat it cold. I don't like any of that. <laughs> I am making your southern fake out, if you will, banana pudding. I make a cold banana pudding. I don't I'll put it in the oven or anything like that, but I love it. And I'm going to make it for my father-in-law. You know, he's had a, a, a rough couple weeks as my husband too. And um, they deserve something yummy. And my father-in-law likes my vanilla banana pudding. So I thought I'd make him it today. And yeah, let me show you, it's super simple. Your kids can do this, okay? It's not about who makes the fanciest or most ingredient recipe. It's what can you put on the table that your family will enjoy and that's not too complicated and you can gather around the table and make memories. And this is one of those desserts that never fails. People love and your kids can help out. Let's get started. This is what you'll need for the simple, easy banana pudding. We got our bananas that are ripe. We have some vanilla wafers. Some, I like to use two kinds of pudding, French vanilla and vanilla. We got milk. We got heavy cream because we're making our own Cool Whip or whipping cream. We have our vanilla extract, which I use my... Uh, bourbon vanilla extract, a little bit of salt because I like the contrast, and just these graham crackers already made pie shells. And we'll need a couple bowls and things like that, but that's it. Simple bananas, pudding, whipped cream, and wafers. That's it. Basic. So the first thing we're going to do is our vanilla pudding. So I like to mix my, I'm going to make two pies, um, these, I'm cheating, but that's the beauty of it, getting things that are already made for you. Now, if you want to make your own graham cracker crust, you go ahead and do it, and I'm sure it'd be delicious, but it's just simple, and just as good. I'm going to start off by opening these, if I can, <laughs> and I like the flavor that the um, French vanilla and the regular vanilla make, so that's why I mix mine. And then you're going to need like four cups of milk because this one I think requires three. You're just basically going to do whatever the container says. You have three cups of cold milk. And this is, if I can find it, it says two cups. So five cups, but I like mine a little bit thicker. So I'm going to start with four because you can always add more milk, obviously. You can't take away Let's go ahead and do measure that out. Let's do four cups of cold milk. This is a two cup measuring thing. So I'm gonna put two cups in here, then I'm gonna put my powder in, and then I'll add the rest of the milk. This is regular vanilla, and this is French vanilla. And because I'm just a little extra, I'm gonna kind of move this around a little bit just to make sure I'm not getting too many like lumps. And I wanna add my milk. All right. And then two more cups. Cause like I said, I kinda want it thick. I don't want it really thin in my In my pot is what I'm trying to say. All right, then I'm gonna add a little bit of my bourbon vanilla extract, just just to be a little extra. And the reason why I'm shaking it is because you know we have the little it settles and all the little black pods go to the bottom. Just a little, just to get that speckling going to make it super extra special. All right, y'all. You can always use just regular 
extra. All right, let's get to the next part. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. And if you're worried about like, do it like the container set, you know, the packaging says the five cups. Um, I'm good with my four. And like I said, I can always add a little bit and mix it up and loosen it up if I need to. But I want that intense vanilla flavor. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is the whipped cream. And I forgot to tell you that we'll need some powdered sugar. Some people use granulated sugar, but like I've told you guys before, anytime I'm dealing with sugar and it's gonna be cold, um, confectioner sugar just melts better into a cold mixture than granu granulated sugar. If you have to use granulated sugar, then okay. But you don't have to in this case. We're just using heavy whipping cream, some sugar, and a little bit of extract to, you can do whatever flavor you want, but for um, banana pudding, I think classic is best, which is vanilla. Now, I like to chill my bowl. So I just basically got a metal bowl. I didn't have room in my freezer to, to chill it. So I just put a lot of ice with some water, cold water, and a little bit of salt to make it like super cold. So now my bowl is ready. I'm just dumping, let's, I guess, measure. Because you know I don't measure. Making sure that was okay. Oh. That was like a cup and a half. Let me do another half cup. Whatever the rest is. So this is like two cups and a half. Let me taste it. Okay. I thought I saw like a little lumpy part in there, so I was worried. All right, then I'm gonna do, let's just do a few tablespoons of the sugar. One, and you can always add to it, to whatever sweetness you want. You can do it without it, but it's just not gonna have like much of a flavor. And then our bourbon vanilla extract. Just to give it a little bit of a vanilla taste. And then if you're worried about the alcohol content because you're not cooking it, you can always use a regular, but all of them have alcohol. That's why I don't think people understand. They all have some kind of, uh, now we're just gonna whisk, 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 until it becomes, Heavy whipping cream. All right, so here you go. And you know I didn't whip this all with my hand. I used my hand mixer. I got tired. And that is okay. You use your hand mixer and do it until you get some, you know, firm or soft peaks depending how thick you want it. Don't overturn it because you don't want butter. You don't want, you know, a problem, but oh my gosh. So I ended up putting like six tablespoons of sugar in it. I tasted and I was like, it's not sweet enough. And more dashes of vanilla extract. But you just keep doing that until it's at the flavor that you want. Now, let's slice up our bananas. Okay, so now that we have all our components made, we have our vanilla pudding. Like I said, some people may use banana pudding or whatever, but I like a vanilla pudding. Then we have our whipped cream. We have our wafers. We have chopped up bananas. I already did one layer of just bananas on here. And then I'm gonna come with my spoon and put in my vanilla pudding. And I'm just kind of fix, filling all the little grooves, you know, and crannies. That banana, the banana left behind. You can put as much or as little as you want of every item. If you like more bananas, put more bananas. If you like more, you know, whipped cream or, and then I buy the minis, um, but I couldn't find them. So th these are fine too. And you can always like chop them up if you want, like in half or whatever, but this will work. And we're just gonna go around this 
with our little wafers. I'm gonna put Cool Whip on it and start another layer. It's as simple as this. That's what I'm telling you, your kids would have a ball doing this and feeling like they helped out on a family dinner. And it could be like their little tradition of doing it. And then maybe they change it up a little bit um, or make a different design. Then we have our homemade whipped cream. And we just put it, pile it on here. You can get like one of these cake decorating angled, I forget what it's called, spatula. And then start with the other layer. That's all she wrote, y'all. More bananas and keep on going. As Look at this. Isn't it just looking super yummy and delicious and super easy and total fake out? Like homemade. I mean, it's homemade, but not like everything from scratch. You make your Cool Whip whipping cream from scratch and everything else is going to taste delicious. And you add a little bit to your other store-bought ingredients and y'all, you got a winner. From my house to yours, buen provecho. Hey y'all. Okay, so last night I made this, or well, yesterday I made this a banana pudding. I came home, I've been gone all day to Atlanta with Mariana and no one ate it. No one has even gotten into it. Of course, Mason's not home from work yet. Um, and Richie, I don't know why he did dig in today while I was gone. You know, unless I serve it for him, he doesn't even know it's in the fridge. Shocker. And I did kind of put it towards the back so it'd chill. Look at this whole thing. So I am gonna bust up in here and try it out. I thought I'd give you guys a taste. I haven't even had dinner. <laughs> this, you guys. Oh, if you can see the layers. Shut up. I gotta get the crust because I'm a crust and topping and sauce girl. So the crust of anything, I'm normally gonna chow down on it. The topping of something and then a sauce. I'm gonna dip whatever. Can y'all see that? So good, so good. Kind of cold. So I got a lot. My teeth are sensitive to the cold sometimes, so I gotta like, blow it, like warm it up. Oh my god, so. So creamy. kind of warm my teeth okay so this is divine the crust is just perfect but y'all that filling with that homemade whipped cream those bananas are perfect they're just um, soft I have a little bit of firmness still to them Oh, I just got one of the vanilla wafers. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> so good. So, y'all, got to try this out. So simple. You don't make anything. You make a little bit of Cool Whip, whipping cream from scratch, which is like three or four ingredients. Then, banana, uh, vanilla pudding from a box. You can add just a little bit more extract like I did. A little bit of salt. And then, Bananas and a crust that's already made. What? And the vanilla wafers. Y'all, this is a no-brainer. Try it out. Yummy banana pudding. How southern, right? From my kitchen to yours, 
buen provecho.